Hi, I'm Elena from Alpha Korean class. Are you ready to learn the way to sound like a native Korean? Then let's talk about it. A few weeks ago, I covered the Korean accent tip. The reaction was pretty good. And two days ago, I got an email from a Korean learner. The topic was about how to sound like a native Korean. To be more specific, what is the point that is different from Koreans and the foreign speakers whose background is English? Well, it was a pretty difficult topic for me because it's so hard to determine where to start and how far to explain. Of course, there are so many things to explain in detail, but I'm going to tell you the simplest and the most important thing to save your precious time. So I'm going to teach you just three ways to speak Korean, but that makes you sound more natural. And there's something I really want to tell you before we start. I don't think you should change everything like a native Korean. Pronunciation, accent, and tone, tracks, etc. Korean use dialects, but we don't think they are using the wrong Korean, right? Is it wrong for people who speak Korean with their own accent or intonations or stress? I don't think it's wrong at all. Nevertheless, there might be some people who want to pronounce it like a native Korean so much that no one knows if they are foreigners or not. I recommend they can save a lot of time if they focus on weak parts seriously after being diagnosed with the precise test. And in fact, I got a master's degree in graduate school as a pronunciation test, so I'd like to help those learners who are seriously want to change. So if you are interested in, then please let me know the level of your pronunciation and your email address in the comments. Then I'll personally let you know how to diagnose it and how it costs. I'd like to give you a free diagnosis, but it takes a lot of time and effort. So I'll tell you in advance that please contact me if you are really serious about your pronunciation, okay? Then now, let's get started. Do you want to improve your skills in making Korean sentences? Then you should improve your intuition of essential Korean verbs and adjectives. Study essential words in depth by studying with top 200 Korean verbs and adjectives. For more information, check the link in the description box below. The first is to make the end of the sentence longer. I've seen a lot of learners just focus on accent or stress rather than length. I can understand why. Just looking at 안녕하세요, while beginners put emphasis in the first syllable. 안녕하세요, or Korean say 안녕하세요, to get rid of stress. But if you practice it that way, it's really hard to apply it. How to remove your intonation is much easier to focus on making things that don't exist than on getting rid of them. So when I explained it, like, make the end of the sentence longer, I saw it improve more naturally. Every time you say a sentence, you focus on the end of the sentence. 안녕하세요, 요, 요, okay? There's another reason why you should focus less on accent. If you focus only on the accent in Korean, it will be very confusing because each Korean has a different accent. Scholars who study this field are also divided in opinion. So, if you are a beginner who is not familiar with Korean accents, then try to pronounce the ending words longer than the other syllable. Now, listen to my pronunciation and repeat. 실례합니다. 실례합니다. 잠시만 기다리세요. 잠시만 기다리세요. All right, and now I'll give you one more tip. There are times when you pause in the middle of a sentence and rest. So look at how the sound in that part differs compared to the other syllable. 길이 막혀서 좀 늦었어요. 길이 막혀서 좀 늦었어요. Yes, 
I took a rest after this so. So what is the characteristic of this syllable so that was different from other sound? 길이 막혀서 좀 늦었어요. 길이 막혀서 좀 늦었어요. Yes, I pronounced this so longer than the other, right? And the last syllable you feels even smaller, but I recommend that you pronounce you longer too. Because if you pronounce the last syllable longer in Korean, it makes you look more polite. Just looking at this meaning, I'm sorry, right? Because I was right. So if you say, 길이 막혀서 좀 늦었어. He feels rude. Instead of, if you consciously pronounce 늦었어요, you longer, you can express your apologies better. Then let's we say it together. 길이 막혀서 좀 늦었어요. 길이 막혀서 좀 늦었어요. 엄마랑 통화했는데, 네, right? 김치 보내주신대. 엄마랑 통화했는데, 김치 보내주신대. Okay? Next, there are a lot of pronunciation words, but I will explain two really basic and important things here. Some learners know Korean grammar and they can make sentence well, but they don't follow these rules. So they sound like completely beginners when they speak Korean. So please concentrate on this rule, okay? Okay, the name of the first pronunciation rule is Yeonum. And in English, it is Korean liaison rules. The reason why I'm telling you this name is that I want you to search for it after this lesson. Note that you should search the entire words, otherwise it's hard to find the information you want. Okay, then now let's look at the sentence together. So now, can you pronounce this sentence first? What? Okay. Uh, if you pronounce it one syllable at a time, it will be 못오면 But we pronounce it like this 못오면 Alright, so what's going on? So when there is a final consonant before the in initial consonant then this final consonant moved to the next consonant's place. So it just replaced this sound, so it just became 모도면, all right? So please repeat. 모도면 알려줘? 모도면 알려줘? All right, then what about this sentence? Could you read it first? Hmm? All right, then I will pronounce it. 일이 있어서 안 온대요. 일이 yes. Also in this sentence, this final consonant moved to the next EM sound. Even if there is a space sometimes, if they are a uh, one lump, then I can pronounce it like a one word. So, 일이 있어서 안 온대요. Okay, and now here's a short sentence. You can do it. Can you try? Yeah, okay. So, I can say, what? 집은 왔어요? Right? Okay, so repeat after me. 집은 봤어요? 집은 봤어요? Good, let's move on to the last one. This pronunciation is the only Korean pronunciation rule that is applied without exception. This means it's very familiar and natural rule for Korean. So, if you master this rule properly, it's very useful so that you can use it in the future all the time. The name of this rule is 비음화 and it's nasalizations in English. So your search term is Korean nasalizations. 
So Piuma refers to the phenomenon in which a non-laser sound changes to a laser sound in front of a laser sound. Do you get it? Uh, I assure you, it's very simple. All right, here are three English words. So now I'm going to pronounce it like uh, most of native Korean speakers. So listen carefully and if you can find what's difference between your pronunciation and our pronunciation, okay? Good morning. Good morning. Big news. Big news. Banmali. Banmali. What's going on? Spelling of these English words in Korean is like this. All right. So now listen carefully my pronunciation one more time. Good morning. Good morning. Big news. Big news. Banmali. Banmali. Did you get it? My pronunciation is different with this spelling. Let's see. I say Good morning. Instead of Good morning. Okay, why? I don't know. <laughs> and uh, I also say it Ping News. Okay? It was not big news. I say big news in Korean. And the last one is Pamali. Not Bob Mali. I say Pamali. Okay. We called this is nasalization rules. Okay. So I'll explain what happened here. Uh, before that, of course, I'm sure you know this sound as a final consonant have a t sound, right? So this t sound and k sound and p sound, if this patim sound meet m or n in the next syllable as an initial consonant, then these two sounds has more power. So they affect to this final consonant to change as a laser sound. So if this t sound meet m or n sound as a major consonant, then it changes to n sound, okay? So it is good morning, all right? And if this k sound meets n or m sound in the next syllable, then it changes to n sound like this, all right? So it is ping news, okay? And lastly, when this p sound meets M or N sound in the initial consonant, then it changes to M sound. Okay, this is how nasalization works in Korean. Okay, now let's practice more. So, this is a sentence. Can you read? Alright, it is 저랑 갔네요. 저랑 가네요. Okay, look at this. 가네요 is t sound, right? So this final consonant changes to what? N sound. So I can say 가네요. All right, repeat after me. 저랑 가네요. 저랑 가네요. Okay, and here 거짓말. 거짓말. It is, uh, okay, these two, when they two meet, then this one changes to nin, right? So it is Okay, cool. And the next one is your tongue. Can you read? Hmm? What is the help part in Korean? All right, that is 돕는. 
사람. 돕는 사람. Why? Because this p sound when they meet n sound, then this one changes into m sound, right? So it is 돕는 사람. 돕는 사람. Great. Then can you read this one? Okay, it is 월, 금, 날. Yeah, it's a happy day. 월금 날. 월금 날. Okay. Then, 자, the day I eat chicken, it is chicken. 음, 먹는 날. Okay. 먹는 날. Why? Because this one sound changes into 응 sound, right? So it is chicken. 먹는 날. Okay, chicken 먹는 날. Then the last one is taste. Your taste. How do you say that? It is 입맛. Yeah, 입맛. Today we learned how to sound like a native Korean. Did you enjoy it? If this video was helpful, then please click the subscribe and like and please share it with your friends who are studying Korean. And your comments and likes are very helpful in making the next video all the time. Alright, thank you for studying Korean with me so far. Then see you in the next videos. You can do it, cause I'm with you. Okay, 안녕!